This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Another guitar to show you today, it's this one. This is, I'm going to get it written down here, a Gretsch G5230T. Electromatic Projet in Cadillac Green. You can see it's got that lovely kind of green sparkly finish to it. Um, it's not my guitar. It's uh, been very kindly loaned to me by a chap who's loaned me a few guitars uh, in recent times. Um, the Artist AP59 that I took a look at a few weeks ago. And just last week I was looking at... Um, a Vox Virage that uh, this chap called David, by the way, had very kindly uh, loaned me. And when he brought the Vox, he also brought this guitar and said, uh, see what you think of it. And this is a journey of discovery for everyone at the moment, because I literally uh, tuned it up and plugged it in about five minutes before I hit record on the camera. So we're going to kind of find out about this guitar together. Um, let's just have a, a look at a few uh, kind of basic um, kind of facts about the guitar first of all I've told you Gretsch G5230T Electromatic Projet um, it has a chambered mahogany body with a, a laminate maple top um, and it has a mahogany body uh, with a laurel fretboard presumably be Indian laurel because that's you know where all the laurel in the world that ends up on guitars seems to end uh, end up coming from doesn't it but yeah anyway those are the basic kind of um, headline figures for it i'll put a link to the full spec down in the description uh, if you want to check out any more detail today's video is very much just a first impressions kind of look at the guitar and i'll do the usual kind of work up where i do a piece of music with it and do all the weights and measures and everything on uh sunday um so, yes, Gretsch's controls, first of all, they're a little bit kind of uh, difficult to find your way through if, for the uninitiated. You've obviously got the pickup selector here, uh, works in the usual way, neck, bridge, and then both. We've got a master volume control here for the whole guitar. Then I think what we've got here is, uh, if I just go to the bridge pickup, I think, yeah, that, this one here is the bridge pickup volume. Um, uh, I'm guessing this one's probably going to be the neck pickup volume indeed and then presumably this is a master tone down here which indeed it is so you know um, it's it's easy enough to find your way around once you're uh, used to it I think the, prop, the, the one I would probably be end up using is the uh, is the master volume control as I say I'm just finding out about this guitar as I'm sat here playing it and the first thing the most striking thing about this guitar is I don't know if David's had any work done on it or not but it is absolutely um set up superbly I mean I'm trying to find the uh, the right words here uh the action got the old action ruler ready let's just measure that on the bass string at the 12th fret that's that's just kind of that's just going to I would say 0.75 of a millimeter at the 12th fret that is I think the lowest action I've ever measured um and you know you would think oh it's going to be full of fret buzz and everything well I haven't found any so far you know it's slippery and um really slick to play um let's have a listen to a few of the tones on it i'm just going to have all the controls on full here as usual uh blue guitar amp one mercury edition uh on the uh vintage channel we'll take a listen to the clean channel as well um as we go through this i suppose uh but just my usual settings uh, on the bridge pickup we sound like this <laughs> Let's check the neck pickup. And the middle position. Thank you. 
it does that kind of hollowed out kind of um kind of thin but fat kind of Gretsch sound really well well it, look at the name on the headstock why wouldn't it um and it's effortless to play um i want to have some some fun with this let's uh, check it out through the clean channel on the amp uh, again same amp just the clean channel and that sounds like this again neck i'll, I'll go bridge uh, mid neck then middle again <laughs> Again, it's um, it's a pleasing set of sounds. I think I prefer it with just that little bit of fur around the edges on the uh, on the kind of uh, slightly dirty channel. Um, let's have a look and see how well the Bigsby performs. Let's point the camera down here. You know, you you have to exercise a little bit of common sense when you're using a Bigsby. You know, you can't do you you, you wouldn't use this to play um eruption for for example um you know it's just for that those gentle kind of wobbles let's see uh first of all if we are in tune i believe we are close enough for government work then let's see what the um how it comes back after abusing the bigsby a little bit So that's pretty good you know I, I wasn't being shy about you heard me kind of not exactly dive bomb it after all it's a, it's a bigsby but you heard me kind of press it down beyond what would you would normally kind of think to be the the uh, the margin of safety on a trem like this and it's, it's sort of come back reasonably reasonably well in tune as i say um it hasn't destroyed it could have um you know put it out a little bit i suppose but yeah initial impressions of this guitar are I like the way it plays. Um, in terms of the sound, I think it would probably... It's a sound I would have to acclimatise myself to. What You know, a single cut guitar with a set neck and a pair of humbuckers um, does, as I was saying about that, uh, that Vox Virage guitar, it does lead you down a certain path of expectations and um, it feels like a Les Paul. Um, so, you know, it's, it's the fact that it's not sounding remotely like one and isn't meant to, um, is something that I would acclimatize to. Um, and, um, but it is a sound that I like. It's just, you know, I mean, I got into playing guitar in the late seventies when fifties rock and roll, all that kind of revivalist stuff, you know, kind of grease and shawaddy waddy and, uh, the darts as well. Anyone remember them? Um, when all of that was kind of big in the charts and, and that's kind of where my first musical love comes from. So, you know, Gretches were all over that and obviously Brian Setzer as we went, went into the eighties with the Stray Cats. So it is a sound that I'm familiar with, but I'm just not familiar with it coming out of a guitar that I'm playing um, so I shall have to have a think about what kind of demo piece I'm going to put together uh, for this guitar uh, my usual kind of chunky rock um, kind of classic rock riffy sort of stuff might not be the best way to showcase this guitar I'll give it a quote of thinking and whatever I come up with you will see on uh, in Sunday's video but yeah um, it's a fun little guitar this um, it's i don't think it's tempting me to kind of want to have one it's it's um my initial impressions are because that's what this video is about it's um you know when you you, you visit somewhere and you think yeah it's great for a, a short holiday but i don't i wouldn't want to live there i think is where i'm saying this but that doesn't mean i'm not going to have fun playing this guitar 
And there concludes my first impressions uh, look at this guitar. Um, I don't want to be waffling and kind of repeating myself more than I already have done if I were to continue any further. I'm going to have a bit of a play with this over the next couple of days. And as I say, full review, uh, demo track, uh, weights and measures, neck profile, and, you know, nut width and pickup readings and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll get into that on Sunday, but that's a video for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it and found it... Um, interesting and you know entertaining and informative or any of those other good things and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream tomorrow and every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and whatever else crops up basically great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.